this time, I would like to introduce Mayor McCormick to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak early so I can leave and get to some other appointments. I just want to say congratulations to all the teachers and support people on being honored by your local, school, your local uh, schools. It's a tremendous honor. This is a great school district. We have so many things we're working on together between the town and the school district. We've got a great Ross Street School opening in November and September. we got Warbridge Middle opening with the expansion. Uh, St. Cecilia's looks great. It's a 60-year-old building, but everything else is brand new. And it's no secret that we're working on another referendum for March of 2020 to spend another 50 plus million dollars on school improvements. We're looking to move four and five and make another brand new school and a whole lot of other projects. So we're thrilled with the relationship between the town and the school district. We're gonna keep it going, but it doesn't work without all of you. So thank you all very much. Assemblyman Coughlin, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, thank you. Uh, I hate to stand between uh, people having fun and uh, listening to me, but so I'll just take an hour or so of your time. Uh, but I want to stop by to say congratulations to all of the honorees tonight. So many, uh, it's nice to be here among so many friends, to see so many people I've known for such a long time, uh, and to commend you on the job that you do each and every year. I think I tell you all the time that I'm my, I'm a proud product of the public school system. My kids went to you know uh, school 25 and Ford's Middle and and Woodbridge High, uh, and I think that New Jersey ought to be awful lot more proud of the public education system that we have. If we went, if we went, and it's, it's true. We, you know, people talk about property taxes all the time, and we should be talking about them and invest as an investment in the future. Uh, if if the governor goes out and he's able to say to somebody in Iowa, "Bring your business to New Jersey," he ought to be saying it because you don't have to pay 25 grand to send your kid uh, to a public uh, to a private school because our public schools are better than their private schools, and that's because of guys, folks like you. So, to all everybody on the staff, the teachers, the principals, administrators, have a great time tonight. Thank you for letting me stop by for a few minutes and have fun. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to thank everyone for attending the Education Foundation's dinner. My name is Diana Quisto, for those of you who don't know, and I'm the outgoing president of the foundation. The foundation has been in existence for over 25 years. Its sole purpose is to benefit the students of Woodbridge Township. This organization consists of volunteers. Without those volunteers, we would not be able to, to do this dinner. And I'm asking each and every one of you to look into yourselves and consider volunteering. It, for teachers, this will count towards your domain four, so please consider it. We only meet six times a year. It's been my pleasure and honor to be a part of this organization. And now I'd like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. Robert Zaga. Thank you. How, how about a big round of applause for Diane and the WTF for organizing another great evening. I'd like to recognize our board members who are here tonight, our board president, Jonathan Trebwasser, <laughs> Joe Velez, Ezio Tamburello, and Dan Harris. Occasionally, occasionally during the day, I'll get a, uh, a phone call from a parent who is interested in sending their children to our, our school district and they may be a parent who is maybe lives outside of Woodbridge who's thinking about moving in, or they may have a child who goes to private school who's thinking about transferring in, or maybe even, they, maybe even, they have a uh, preschooler at home. And invariably, the question they ask me is, why should I send my kids to your district? And that is the easiest phone call that I get, because quite simply, the people who are gonna be with your children, as I tell the caller, people will be with your children every day our certified staff, our support staff, our teachers, and everyone in our buildings cares as much about your children as you do, if not more. Absolutely.
And I would tell the caller, that's the reason why you want to, you not only want to send your children to Woodbridge, but you need to send your children to Woodbridge. Because they will come out of our schools prepared to be successful in life. They will be happy in their schools. We'll teach them not only language arts and math, but we'll teach them civics, and we'll teach them art, and we'll teach them music, and we'll teach them how to give back to their neighborhoods through community service. We'll teach them all these things that are not measured on tests and can't be ranked in any school ranking. And that's why we're so proud of our school district. So congratulations to all of our recipients tonight. You are the best. You are beyond uh, proficient. You are beyond uh, uh, excellent. It's always a pleasure every, every time we gather here to, to meet you and see so many friends and so many former students and so many colleagues. Um, I'm proud of all of you. I'm proud to be part of something special that's going on here in Woodbridge. So have a great night, celebrate, and God bless America. start the program right now, so please stay seated. Thank you. Okay. We have our certified staff first. When your name is called, please come up and receive your certificate. From Morby Street, Danielle Russo. Avenel Street, Lisa Romero. Thank you. From Port Reading School, Laura Zacchino. From Ross Street, Mark Filaramo. Avenue, Cheryl Barozowitz. From Indiana Avenue, Eileen Griffin. Menlo Park Terrace, Sarah Sheehan Petty. From Claremont Avenue, Kimberly Rusak. Ridge Heights, Stephanie Moretti. <laughs> 
Lindcrest, Brittany McFadden. Woodbine Avenue, Sarah Lynch. <laughs> Kennedy Park, Danielle Parry. From Lafayette Estates, Victoria Murado. <laughs> Robert Masenik, Sarah Sautner. Pennsylvania Avenue, Susan Bazarai. Matthew Jago, Kerry Taglarini. Tree Road, Sherry Mosca. <laughs> Avenel Middle School, Christine Sisolak. Colonia Middle School, Dawn Jardo. I was Dawn's eighth grade science teacher. <laughs> Ford's Middle, Megan Ferving. Isle Middle School, Karen Frank Erickson. Thank you. 
Congratulations. Thank you. Woodbridge Middle School, School Susan Kopcho. Colonia High School, Andrew Tufts. John F. Kennedy High School, Jacqueline Jones. From Woodbridge High School, Carrie Horowitz Hain. Special Services, Allison Epstein. <laughs> From GNT, Carrie Sweeney. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to present to you the Teachers of the Year for 2018-19. Certified staff from Morby Street, Linda Estramera. From Avenel Street, Gisela Mendez. From Port Reading, Lisbeth Guzman de Jesus. Thank you. From Ross Street, Kelly Killian. From Ford Avenue, Melinda Machado.
from Indiana Avenue, Bernadette Desch. From Menlo Park Terrace, Mylin Valadares. Claremont Avenue, Celeste Smith. Congrats. From Oak Ridge Heights, Ashley Elio. From Lincrest, Lincrest School, Lisa Lavalioli. From Woodbine Avenue, Michelle Clark. From Kennedy Park, Bandana Shake. <laughs> Lafayette Estates, Denise Sullivan. Robert Masenik, Carmen Yurnet. From Pennsylvania Avenue, Tiffany Santos. If I could have your attention for this next award, please.
Mrs. Donna Davidson has been a paraprofessional in the Woodbridge Township School District for many years. She has worked primarily with our preschool and autistic children, both, both at Oak Ridge Heights and Matthew Jago schools. Donna had, had a wonderful gift of caring for and nurturing our young students. She always made her work fun, and she rose to the many challenges that she met along the way. Nothing made her happier than to see one of her students succeed at something new. That would always make her face light up with a big smile. She loves her students as if they were her own. Donna had a true commitment to the special education programs that we offer in Woodbridge Township. She was one of the founding members of the PACE Parents Organization, and in April 2007, she was extremely instrumental in organizing the first ever autism flag raising ceremony in the United States in honor of Autism Awareness Month. Since that time, she has taken the responsibility to schedule the event in our township every year. Donna was a survivor. She taught us that as tough as things got, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. She did that every day, especially during her last battle. She epitomized strength, courage, and a love of life with our attributes that we try to instill in our students every day. It's been a blessing to have Donna Davidson as part of our school team. Although she will be truly missed, she will never be forgotten. The non-certified staff member from Matthew Jago, Donna Davidson. Oak Tree Road School, Valerie Tashinsky. Avenel Middle School, Linda Peterson. Colonia Middle School, Maria Katsianis. <laughs> From Ford's Middle School, Linda Della Pietro. From Island Middle School, Gina Seminiero. Woodbridge Middle School, Susan Kemper.
from Colonia High School, Thomas Affis. From John F. Kennedy High School, Marie Ward. From Woodbridge High School, Joyce Stepnowski. Special Services, Priscilla Bernier. From G and T, Anna Nieto. I'd like to, like to recognize before we break two other board members who are here, Brian Molnar, who just came in, and Frank Del Pietro in the back. Thanks for support. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you the non-certified staff members of the year for 2018-19.